Hi, I'm Greg Zanis with DreamCar123.com, and along with my sons Chris and Gregory Zanis, we're the inventors of DreamCar123.com. Also, you, we would like it if you could subscribe to our videos on YouTube so you'll be updated anytime a new video is posted. Today, I'd like to talk to you a couple of minutes about reflecting sunlight. What we are going to show you here in this painting is where I was holding a mirror at nighttime and off of the moon beam I was able to shine a light onto a barn over 1,000 yards away exactly the same size as the mirror itself. In that concept here on earth I show the same thing where a mirror being held by me again is aiming at the barn. With part of our pyramid project what we want to do is place an earth-based pyramid where all the light will come into it from the sun and then be redirected out one portal up to our flying pyramids. When it hits that it will hit the very bottom of the pyramid itself. Also, this pyramid will be able to get reflected light from the moon back to here again. What we did later, in, we read science articles of how they were actually reflecting mirrors and hitting the moon from its dark side. Now, we didn't actually do this, but we know that this technology is possible. Sunlight is a phenomenal source. It's the source of all power here on Earth except for fossil fuels. Where our project is solar in, in a very fundamental way. We want to use the sun to light the insides of our buildings as we discussed to you on one of the previous videos. Here I'd like to show you how simple the mirror is. You could see the mirror reflecting on the wall. Of course, the mirror is being compromised right now by the light that's in the room. But it also, even in daytime, mirrors reflect an almost invisible beam. It's, you've seen on TV westerns where the guy holds a little mirror up and he signals the guy on the next mountain this has been around for hundreds of years. Benjamin Franklin, at one time when he was in Paris, had put out a rumor that when Napoleon's ships were coming, he was going to simply aim mirrors at the ships, and it created a huge stir that everybody thought, oh, he was going to burn the wooden ships. People in Alexandria used to use mirrors in the Alexandrian lighthouse to let people know during the daytime that they were coming up to Alexandria. Alexander the Great was the uh, builder of that lighthouse. We believe that we have not really looked into this technology other than for a mirror boiler in California that's used to make electricity. We want to actually direct sunlight once again to go into our floating pyramids and we're going to talk to you more about several of the paintings. If you note here, this is painting number eight in a series of 26 oil paintings that we have. These are conceptual oil paintings, and this is a theory that long, long is overdue. And please, like I said, go try to subscribe on YouTube and become a subscriber where many, many other people have subscribed. And this is Greg Zanis with DreamCar123.com. Thank you.